Hi everyone, still August 10, 2021, let's do some COVID news. Keeping a watch on, oh, how many states are now mandating masks again, uh, implementing restrictions, more and more, doesn't look good. So new data on the vaccines wake-up call? It depends on when you wake up, which direction you travel in. Not sure. I mean, this new data actually states that the Pfizer vaccine, only 42% effective against infection in July, when the Delta variant was dominant. If that's not a wake-up call, I don't know what is. A senior Biden Biden official told Axios, um, mm, which way are we going here? Does that mean that suddenly you have to get more vaccines? Or does that mean that more and more people who have been vaccinated uh, come down with the Delta variant? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes mainstream media news could be very tricky. Or the news coming from the psychopaths. It found Moderna vaccine was 86% effective against infection. Over the study period, and, and Pfizer 76%? Wait, only 42% effective against Oh, in July. Really? Look, it could also be when I read, oh, wow, Moderna you know, uh, tops Pfizer. Have you seen those TikTok videos with people uh, posting stupid, really stupid videos claiming that Pfizer... They were cool with the Pfizer. Moderna was okay, but they were really cool with Pfizer. What are they going to do now? Maybe, maybe Moderna is not making the kind of money Pfizer is, so they want to, you know, create equity with the pharmaceutical companies. Here, Moderna is 76% effective. Pfizer, only 42% effective. Um, you got to read the study and look, uh, go ahead. I'm not, I have no interest. It's all just, just crap. You know, State Department is lying for John Kerry, who took a private jet to the Obama party and the State Department is denying that he took a jet? Now, he's our climate change czar. Taking a jet? No. That causes climate change. So what is he doing? He was also found in Boston Airport without a mask. Uh-huh. But he got off that jet masked up. I'm sure he knew people with cameras. Okay, how did they deny he took a jet when he's walking off his family jet? Has lying become so out of control in our country that the liars just say things, they're found out, but nobody cares? I, I don't know. I don't know. But it's kind of weird. Very weird. Stay, he didn't take a jet. Oh, who's this then? Getting off a jet. Martha's Vineyard for Obama's birthday. Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the news. Doesn't look too good, does he? Okay, Arnold said this. Quote, because with freedom comes obligations and responsibilities. Unquote. Was he quoting himself? Like I said, I, maybe he is quoting himself. 
uh, like I said, pure freedom would also mean ignoring red lights. But we don't do that because it would kill our fellow citizens. All right, we are. We are literally surrounded by idiots, governed by idiots. Uh, everybody's just an idiot, okay? You know, I've got my idiotness, um, but idiots can't really spot idiots. I don't know. Um, but we've got a real idiot problem. Red light, okay, that's his analogy for getting vaccinated. Right. We don't ignore red lights uh, because we don't want to kill anybody. Oh, well, I don't. No, I actually obey to that red light very often when I could just As go the COVID right through. Rise, Sorry. Let's see the return of Stan Bachman. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm very stressed because that just scared the crap out of me. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't go through a red light because I don't want a ticket. But, yeah, I stop at red lights and... Um, what the hell are we going to do? What the hell are we going to do? These analogies are just so inane. Disappointing? That's right, you're of Austrian descent right next to a famous authoritarian country. Austria was um, authoritarian. Well, okay, Tom, whatever. Uh, learned trait from this region? Uh, apples and or No, it's not a learned trait. Um, he's, he's just in with the elite who are... Uh, idiots. Unfortunately, they have a lot of power and money. So, we're screwed. Running a red light is breaking the law. No law. Oh, the reason why I kept this open is because I can't believe people are arguing this. They're arguing it with, it's not, well, it is breaking the law. You go through a red light. No law exists for mandating, well, when it does come about that law. Uh, is it the same? <laughs> yeah. There is literally no limiting principle to nonsense like this. And you really can't argue it. But a whole lot of people are trying. Why are they even trying? False equivalency. Driving is a privilege, <laughs> not a right. Okay. Ah, okay. Oh, go pound sand. Traffic lights aren't in the Constitution. I got to move on. Uh, who's this? Mask up, Michigan. Rashida Talib. Woo, you go, girl. Rashida, have you seen this? Okay. Um... This was February 10. Mask up, Michigan. And when Michigan is, these Delta variant numbers are exploding in Michigan, even in that district that Rashida represents in Michigan, Michigan COVID-19 infection numbers worsened this week. 2,720 new COVID cases. This was August 9, just yesterday. Oh, my God. Here. Oh, cases are up 850% in Michigan since the start of the Delta variant-induced surge. Will there be another lockdown? Um, your governor, Whitmer, she said... She doesn't have the power. But your health department heads have the power. Oh, wow. Governor Whitmer doesn't have the power. She even acknowledged it. Okay, well, 
long article. Uh, in Ottawa County tonight, uh, a standoff near Spring Lake is I can't over. Do this again. Despite I'm the Delta so, you know, frankly, is a lockdown upon yeah, as I was looking, flipping through the news, I thought, that's it. You know, just point me to the nearest bridge. It'll be a pleasure to dive in because the heat wave is back. I'm so sick of this life of ours. It's truly just atrocious. Okay, well, yeah, big numbers, big numbers. And your representative, I think it's the Dearborn, Detroit area. What did she do? It's amazing. She's the latest hypocrite. Oh, there she is smiling. When was this taken? <gasps> Here she is dancing. Rashida, having a good time. Our Congresswoman, Rashida. No mask. No mask. What is going on here? Mask up, you peasants. But Rashida Tlaib, uh-uh. She attends a big wedding, maskless this weekend, because they want you to live in fear while they go about their merry lives. How, how, do you get, I know you get, Okay, so I'm not talking to you. No, wait, I am talking to you. Stay, please. But I'm talking to all of those who don't listen to my videos. What a fun job I have. Yeah. When are people going to get that we truly are being treated like slaves? The hypocrisy is, ugh, it truly is getting so thick that it's sickening and they're treating us with just abject contempt. Obama has his big bash. Goes on for three days. Maskless. Delta variant. Mask up. Oh, how many? You know, it was another wedding. Um, what's the name of the mayor of D.C.? Well, she attended that wedding maskless oh didn't she have a birthday party the day before it was her birthday day before but she issued the order for mask up in DC Saturday after her birthday party but then she goes to a wedding and the people are maskless <clears throat> when what is it gonna take Rashida Tlaib, seen dancing at wedding without mask after slamming Rand Paul. Democratic. Uh, Rashida Tlaib, who assailed Rand Paul for urging Americans to resist new CDC guidelines, danced without a mask. You know, they're dancing, they're dancing close, they're all sweaty, they're having a good time. Oh, their mouths are open. Well, her home state, substantial COVID-19 transmission going on in Michigan. In fact, Wayne County, which I believe is her district, raided, or it was at least where this party was. Okay, uh, wedding which Wayne County rated as an orange zone by the CDC. Orange indicates substantial transmission. One of the two risk categories in which the agency's guidelines call for indoor masking for people, regardless of their vaccination status. Ta-da! Nice teeth. Nice teeth. Nice teeth. No mask for Congresswoman. Lead by example. 
I guess that's obsolete now. The video emerged, emerged on the same day she wrote this about Rand Paul. The Kentucky senator is throwing a tantrum as his state is being swallowed whole by the virus again. So is yours, uh, Rashida. Okay, and she posted a Kentucky map showing counties with elevated risk categories. I guess, I don't know if the map is here now. Um, well, okay, she went on. People are getting sick and dying. 98 counties in Kentucky have a high incident rate of COVID-19. He needs to put politics aside and put people first. Start resisting the virus. But here she is, the wedding. CDC guidelines for the orange zone in which this wedding, they're all no mask, no mask. Nobody has a mask. Look how close they are. High transmission rate. Talib's office did not immediately respond to a request for a comment. She had a good time. Same day, she's talking about Rand Paul. You know, how many people are dying in Kentucky? You have to follow those CDC guidelines. And that night, she's not following them. Of hypocrisy. Congresswoman Tlaib is seen dancing without a mask at a wedding indoors, which would not be in line with the recommendations of the CDC. Preman live tonight with a closer look, and it's the timing of this which has some eyebrows being raised, Priya. Yeah, that's right, Jason. The congresswoman was criticizing Senator Rand Paul about a video he posted encouraging people not to follow federal guidelines. And then video surfaced of the congresswoman dancing maskless at a party not following CDC guidelines. That video has since been viewed hundreds of thousands of times. Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib was recorded dancing maskless at a packed wedding over the weekend. The band tagged the location as Ford Community and Performing Arts Center in Dearborn. Wayne County was recently ranked by the CDC in the orange zone, which indicates substantial transmission of COVID. It's one of two risk categories where the agency recommends indoor masking for people regardless of their vaccination status. The warning comes amid a 60% increase in cases in the county over the last two weeks, excluding Detroit. The video emerged as the lawmaker attacked Republican Senator Rand Paul. It's time for us to resist. They can't arrest all of us. Who posted a video encouraging people to resist federal guidelines. Congresswoman Tlaib tweeting, the Kentucky senator is throwing a tantrum as his state is being swallowed whole by this virus again. People are getting sick and dying. 98 counties in Kentucky have a high incidence rate of COVID-19. He needs to put politics aside and put people first start resisting the virus. The video has since been viewed nearly half a million times on Twitter after it was initially posted on Instagram. Now, Congresswoman Tlaib is fully vaccinated. We made multiple attempts to reach her, but did not hear back. Reporting. Jeez, why isn't she responding? Okay, I want to scream. I want to scream at my fellow Americans. I want to say, what the F is wrong with you? What is, what is wrong with you that you are not getting it? None of these people are afraid of this virus. They issue orders for you and then they go out and party, not following their own orders. But I, look. Look, I'm sorry. These are the people who are literally destroying our lives. UN globalists arriving in UK, Scotland, for the climate summit. They're not going to face COVID restrictions imposed on British citizens. Huh. One rule for us, another for them. When are you going to get it? Wake up, please. Hey, UK citizens are returning home from red list countries, many of which are located in Asia, Africa, and Latin America, 
have to undergo a brutally enforced quarantine in specially designated prison-like hotels at their own expense. Hello, Canada. Okay, Canada has the same. Um, the 10-day quarantine applies, even if the individual is vaccinated, while those returning from amber countries have to perform the same self-isolation at home with local authorities and police routinely checking up on them. The same rules do not apply to all. And wow, who's going to be coming in for this climate summit? I mean, my God, first of all, people from all over the world, Delta variant, uh, China, you know, Delta variant, it, it, it's exploding in China. It's exploding everywhere. N hardly any restrictions. Okay. I, having done some research on these climate summits, I think about 25,000 people arrive for the climate change summits. 25,000? That sounds like a super spreader event, doesn't it? Come on. So, no, same rules will not apply to any of these people. Visiting Scotland for the United Nations Climate Change Conference in November, around, tw oh, yeah, 25,000 25, government figures, media, environmental campaigners, most of whom will arrive on their CO2 belching flights and their jets. Oh, they fly into these <laughs> climate change summits on their jets. Oh my God, I'm so... <laughs> that means they won't need... Uh, okay, they're given special dispensation by the government. They don't need to be vaccinated to enter the country if they are arriving from green or amber list countries. There will be no requirement for self-isolation on arrival to the UK for those coming from amber or green list countries, whether vaccinated or not. Those arriving from the deadly red list countries uh, that Brits have been told to avoid like the plague will only have to endure a quarantine period of five days and presumably it will take place in a much nicer setting than Brits Ha, what you're stuck with having to endure. Double standards. I swear to God, if, if these people didn't have double standards, they wouldn't have any standards. That's all they have is double standards. Yeah. Okay. None of these people are going to be spreading in a super way. The Delta variant Black Lives Matter was okay, too, right? Climate change protests are fine. Well, you know, we're, we're, we're just freaking... <sighs> oh. All right, I'm just going to play this. Aren't you tired? Man, I am so tired. I am so tired. I'm so done with my fellow two-legged creature out there that just is thinking all good things about themselves and they ain't. Listen to this. So let's just say there's a vaccine that is approved and even distributed before the election. Would you get it? Well, I think that's going to be an issue for all of us. If and when the vaccine comes, it's not likely to go through all the tests that needs to be and the trials that are needed to be done. When we finally do, God willing, get a vaccine, who's going to take the shot? Who's going to take the shot? You can be the first one to say, put me, sign me up. They now say it's okay. And the question of whether it's real when it's there, that requires enormous transparency. You've got to make all of it available to other experts across the nation so they can look and see. 
So there's a consensus this is a safe vaccine. If the president announced tomorrow we have a vaccine, would you take it? Only if it was completely transparent that other experts in the country could look at it. Only if we knew all of what went into it. If Donald Trump can't give answers and the administration can't give answers to these three questions, the American people should not have confidence. But if Donald Trump tells us I should t- that we should take it, I'm not taking it. I think they were hit with vaccine hesitancy when Trump was in office. And, well, they jumped out of it when Biden came into office. Um, But wait a second. The experts advising Biden, same experts that advise Trump. And when you listen to Biden, he's talking about all those experts, you know, they, we, you know, we've got to send that data out to uh, other experts in the nation. What's happening? Well, they're being censored. It's got to be transparency. And there's no transparency with him. I'm telling you, if they didn't have double standards, they wouldn't have standards at all. Now... Let me just go through this quickly, okay? The, the, look, we're, we're just so friggin' done. Man, people can't think. You know, here. Uh, Rand Paul is now uh, grounded by YouTube. Seven days. Why? Well, because he posted a video to YouTube slamming YouTube censorship and gets censored. Okay. Listen up. Randy Weingarten, the head of the largest teachers union in the country, who came out yesterday and said, yes, teachers should be vaccinated inside schools. Do you think they should be mandated to be vaccinated? Yeah, I'm going to upset some people on this, but I think we should. I mean, we are in a critical situation now. Tired of listening to the lies. I can't do it. Teachers, they will mandate that vaccine because, well, you got to protect the kids. Okay, Uh, CDC is now urging pregnant women to get vaccinated. Pregnant women. Pregnant. You don't have to look at the science to understand that there's something very wrong with that. But if you do look at the truth on other Uh, social media platforms like Odyssey and BitChute and Rumble and yada, yada, yada. You will find out those other experts that, well, YouTube and Facebook, they just censor. You can't listen to other experts around the nation. Like Biden said, when Trump was in office, Biden gets into office and he actually sits down with social media. He, Biden, Trans- Mr. Transparency wants to censor what they call misinformation from experts around the nation. Okay. <sighs> women, pregnant women, please really think about this. Really think about it. Yeah, you know, there was a study. A study. Who did the study? It was Carnegie Mellon University and University of Pittsburgh. Right. These researchers were looking for reasons why there was vaccine hesitancy in the United States. And you know what they found? They found uh, that shaming them, bribing them, persuading them, treat them uh, as victims of misinformation and disinformation campaigns. Oh, well, it's not working. You know, you hear people on CNN, uh, what's that woman's name, that, yeah, expert on CNN. Um, Leanna, I can't remember. Uh, well, you got to take away that carrot. 
and use the stick. Most of the coverage <clears throat> would have you believe that the surge in cases is from the less educated, brainwashed Trump supporters. Yep, everybody on the red, red team. But actually, the largest group that is still unvaccinated, black men. Huh. Well, doesn't it sound... Um, I don't know, racist, if they're going to be forcing upon the unvaccinated the stick. According to a new paper by researchers, the researchers analyzed more than 5 million survey responses. Okay, the findings. There is a strong correlation between counties with higher Trump support in the 2020 presidential election and higher hesitancy the period January to May 2021. Could it be that maybe they're smarter? Uh, More surprising is the breakdown in vaccine hesitancy by level of education. It finds that the association between hesitancy and education level follows a U-shaped curve with the highest hesitancy among those least and most educated. Least and most, wow. People with a master's degree had the least hesitancy. That's what your college education did for you. However, those with PhDs have the highest hesitancy. Isn't that interesting? Not only are the most educated people most skeptical, 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 wow, of taking the vaccine, they're also the least likely to change their minds. Okay, you can take a look at the study. I'll link to it below. Uh, EU looking into new possible side effects of mRNA. Oh, there are side effects? Yes, there are. Okay, allergic skin reaction, kidney inflammation, renal disorder characterized by heavy urinary protein losses. Okay, I think they post these videos uh, to let the masses uh, know that, oh, we're very careful. We're monitoring everything. Don't worry, we're looking into possible side effects. Okay, signs that you may have had COVID-19, but didn't know it. Really, didn't know it. You didn't know it. You want to know what the signs were? Body aches, stuffy nose, runny nose, cough, diarrhea, fatigue, fever, chills, headache, nausea, uh, new loss of taste or smell, uh, shortness of breath, sore throat, vomiting. Wow. All of that is COVID-19 because we don't have any more viruses, diseases, nothing. Okay, so if you had those symptoms, you didn't have the flu, you didn't have a cold, you didn't have something else. You had COVID-19 and you didn't even know it. French police patrol cafes asking to see your papers. I will link below. You can check it out, the videos. Yep, strolling around. Let me see your papers. Let me see that you qualify to sit in this seat in this outdoor cafe. Checking them, random. Kind of, I don't know, reminds me of an era that we lived. Okay, so new Philadelphia COVID-19 restrictions start at midnight, requiring indoor businesses to require masks or verify vaccination. Hawaii, too. Oh, but you've got to listen to this. All right, another friggin' long video. But Hawaii, uh, instituting restrictions. Why? Because we're seeing case numbers in the 600s, the highest numbers we've seen since the pandemic began. Your governor said, this requires immediate and serious attention to avert unmanageable strains. So, 
limits for social gatherings, restaurants, bars, social establish establishments, and you can read all about it. Listen to this, though. Unbelievable. Yeah, Australia. Yeah, it's extraordinary new rules that have come into force from today. Essentially, any Australian who is based overseas and comes to Australia, even just for a visit, well, they now need to be granted permission to leave. Now, ordinarily, if you were leaving to go back overseas, you'd simply just have to show your passport at the airport and off you go. But it's now designed to close a loophole to stop Australians based overseas from coming back for a visit, particularly given in the last few months the international arrivals cap has been hard due to Delta outbreak strains like we're currently seeing in parts of Sydney, but also to reduce pressure on the hotel quarantine system. It's taken many by surprise. Some Australians based overseas have told Sky News they don't even know whether or not they'll be able to return to the country that they live in. Is it legal? Yes, it is. Nobody can challenge the health minister's direction. And even under international laws, Australia doesn't have a, a bill of rights, meaning that no citizen can actually challenge this decision. You don't have a bill of rights in Australia? You can't challenge that decision? Oh, well, they're locking you in. Uh, anybody comes back to Australia you're not you need to get permission from your government to leave okay nobody is uh, all right we all because we know what's going on oh, they're not getting that this is um a totalitarian takeover they 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 just don't get it it's it's really pathetic yeah here this nut job uh who is she the cnn cnn when okay what does she say all right oh god here do you believe sorry i am here that races the variables are and what the messaging should be my main concern is that we're not going to reach herd immunity because of vaccine hesitancy and i know that's hard for a lot of people to believe who desperately want the vaccine right now and they're thinking oh well it's just a small percentage of people who are actually anti-vaxxers and that's true there is the anti-science anti-vaxxer contingent but i think that there are many more people millions of people who for whatever reason have concerns about the vaccine who just don't know what's in it for them and we need to make it clear to them that the vaccine is the ticket back Back to pre-pandemic life and the window to do that is really narrowing i mean you were mentioning chris about how all these states are reopening they're reopening at a hundred percent and we have a very narrow window to tie reopening policy to vaccination status because otherwise if everything is reopened then what's the carrot going to be how are we going to incentivize people to actually get the vaccine so that's why i think the cdc and the Biden administration needs to come out a lot bolder and say if you're vaccinated you can do all these things here are all these freedoms that you have because otherwise people are going to go out and enjoy these freedoms anyway and i fear a situation of coming into the fall where we never reach herd immunity and then we get hit by the next surge of of, of covid19 in the fall something that we could have prevented if we just got people vaccinated now thank you unbelievable i guess this expert on cnn missed all of that data that shows that it's the vaccinated that are spreading the delta variant did she miss it all yeah uh the biden administration has to come out and say the vaccine this vaccine that's your ticket to life again well then think what is she saying the unvaccinated have to be seriously punished CDC forced to adjust Sunday's uh, data on COVID in Florida down 50%. Oops, we were wrong about Florida. How often are they wrong? Quite a lot. Gavin Newsom, uh, those school staff, meaning everybody, you're either vaccinated or you test weekly. California.
Yeah, mom of three who got over 200000 in donations for rent admits she's just the sitter. Something's wrong with Americans. But this article was not supposed to be there, so let's just exit. Unvaccinated Arizona woman, a mom, gives birth while in COVID-induced coma. Wow. Six members of Florida church die from COVID-19 within days of one another. And you know what? They were all unvaccinated. And people don't realize that mainstream media is now the state, it's state TV. It's the propaganda arm of our government. Why, during the Obama years, did they, uh, oh God, now I can't even think of the name of that act where you could not use Propaganda Against American Citizens, smith Munt Act. Okay, smith Munt Act. Oh, it was, it was there, not repealed for decades and decades and decades. Prohibited, prohibited the use of propaganda against American citizens. And lo and behold, during the Obama years, they said, ah, let's get rid of that. We don't need it. So, what do you think? Hmm, are you getting propaganda? They kind of made it legal, getting rid of that Smith-Munt Act. Doesn't matter what you say to Americans anymore. We just live in a psychiatric institution filled with an awful lot of people who are coming out of that film, Idiocracy. They're just characters in Idiocracy. Companies now deducting $50 from unvaccinated workers, monthly paychecks. And yeah, Birmingham Southern College imposes $500 fee for unvaccinated students. Oh, that'll cut down on the spread of COVID. We'll just, you know, you want to come to college, you pay $500. Wow. Sounds like they're really protecting the health of the students. All right. Look, you know, it's the age of morons. It's the era of um, I don't care about facts and evidence. And it's the, oh, mainstream media. That's all I'm going to listen to. I'm a robot. I gave over my brain to all government officials, to mainstream media. And that's all I will listen to. And you are not a good person because you question authority. Well, when I was growing up, those who questioned authority, authorities, were admired. Funny how quickly that got disposed of.